Okay, the final video in this series then uh, will give us an end game. Once we've lost all our lives, we would like the program to tell us uh, game's over, but what, what did we score? So uh, the way we do that is this. We've got, we've set lives to five. So when uh, we want to check when the lives get to zero, we would like certain things to happen. We'd like the screen to go dark. We'd like a, a, a sign to come up that says game over. And we would like a friendly face to tell us how well we did. So first of all, before we do any coding, we need to set up the things that we're going to make happen. So um, we're going to make a, a game over sign. So let's get this rectangle. Let's make a let's make a uh, rectangle there, and let's get a text tool and make sure we can see it. We give it a colour that's visible, and we we'll just say game over. Now the text tool has a little drag handle there to help us move it around. So there we go, and I'm going to pop it near the top of that um, and just say OK. So we've got game over there, quite uh, quite small. I'm going to make that nice and large uh, for most of the screen. OK, I'd also like the, the background to look like it's faded away. So I need a second stage. Oops. Uh, get rid of that. So if we go to my stage now, I'm going to take the background and we're going to copy that background. You'll notice I've called this BG Light, Background Light. Uh, and that's because I would like it to also have a, a dark background dark. And we'll edit this and quite simply we'll get uh, get the paint bucket, a nice dark blue, and then we we'll make that nice and dark and we we'll maybe get a dark brown and we'll make the sand dark. So we've just got a dark version of our game. Uh, as if the lights have gone off because we've we've failed. Uh, so we've got game over. We'd also like to have a friendly face come on and tell us how we did. So let's see if we can find in here a crab. Oh, there we are. That's a nice crab. Let's have him. Or her, I don't know. So we'll pop the crab in there. We're going to get the crab to say something. So uh, we call the crab, let me think, crab. And we call this game over. Very good to name all your sprites uh, by names that will make sense to you. OK, now we've got what we need. We need to go back and give it some code. Now immediately I'm thinking, hmm, this game doesn't look uh, playable right now. We've got stuff all over the place. So to set up our game, we would like to hide these two things. So on, uh, on the game over, we'll pop that on and say, right, uh, there we go. Right. And on the crab, we'll give him some control as well. The green flag is clicked. Go to looks. And I. If I go too quickly, you can always rewind the video, you can pause, you're in control. So at the start of this game, we would like them to hide. We would like them, though, at some point to show themselves. Uh, and the way we do that, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but the way we'll do it um, here is we'll shout something, we'll, we'll broadcast. So at this point we want to know, well, change lives by negative one, wait a second, go back to the beginning, wait a second, and then off we go again. Well, I want to know inside that, before we, we might go back to the beginning, but before we do anything else, let's just get that wait second out there. We go back to the beginning. Before we set off again, we want to check and see if lives has got to zero. So if, um, and we need an operator, 
this little rectangle here. So if in our, in our variables, if lives, just drag that in. You know, it looks like it won't fit, but it magically does. So if lives equals zero, we'd like to shout a, a message across to those two things. We do that by broadcast. So broadcast, um, and there's a new thing we want to show, end game. Um, I'm just being careful not to say game over because I've already used the words game over in one thing and I don't want to confuse myself or the, the compiler that's running the program. Uh, so broadcast end game. Now if we go over to our game over, we can see that there is a when I receive and it's already put end game in there for me. And quite simply I'm just going to say show. And I'll do the same for the crab. Uh, control when I receive. Let's put end game in there. We go to looks and say show. Now the crab, I'd like to do something else. I'd like the crab to say um, how many fish we caught. So we know that it says things by saying this. Um, but it only lets us say one thing. We'd like to put more in there. So if we go to our operators, we can say, we can add this in here, say join. Now I'd like it to say, uh, say you caught so many fish. In this case, you caught two fish. So I can say, in here I can say, you caught, uh, and now I need two more spaces because I need it to say whatever the score is, I need to put the score variable in and then I need it to say the word fish afterwards. So I do that just by getting another join and popping it in there. So now I've got you caught and then in variables I'm going to put score you caught that many and fish exclamation mark. And I was careful to put a space before the word fish. I'll put a space after the word caught as well, just to make sure that the, uh, it looked right. So now uh, the crab, when the green flag's clicked, it will hide, but when we shout out end game, when he's run out of lives, it will show and it will say that. Um, the, the final thing, I think, in the setup for our game, notice we've got the dark background. We want to make sure that as we set up our game right at the beginning, we make the stage go to the light background. Um, so we can say to stage, we can put a script on there that says, uh, sorry, control, when green flag clicked, looks, switch to background, and now it's useful that we gave it a proper name, we've got background dark, we want background light. So at the beginning now, if we click the green flag, hey, we've got a, a light stage. Uh, I've lost a life. And I've caught a fish, so my score's gone up by one. Let's see if we can catch another fish. Go. Two. Uh, now if I just lose some lives. Uh, one life left. And there we are. Game over. You caught two fish. Something hasn't happened. What hasn't happened is that the background has gone dark as well. So I can go back to my code and say, oh, when the green flag is clicked, switch to background light. But what I should have also added was, when I receive end game, switch to background dark. So there we've got a basic game. It really is a basic game, uh, but there's a lot of playability within it. If you've got this far in the course, you should now have all the skills to make your own game, and hopefully by now you are well on the way to creating your own. Once you've seen what variables can do, can you create a variable for something else? For example, could you add a timer, something which starts at 100 and goes down, and when you run out of time, 
you are given a new screen, could you move on to a new level? Could you create a new level where if you catch three fish in an easy way, or if your mouse catches three pieces of cheese, or cat catches three mouse in an easy way, could you move on to a slightly more complicated way? Your ideas will help you.